Okay, everybody, this is Trails in the Sky, and against my better judgment, we're still gonna give a crack at the, the side quest. So we got done checking out Ruan last time. We got kicked out of the hotel after getting the swanky penthouse because, like, I forget his name, but the, the, the crown prince showed up to do his inspection of Ruan, and he was a complete dingus. And that didn't go super well, and we spent the night and we got a horrifying cutscene where we learned that the freaking orphanage burned down. Are you kidding me? But we gotta do these side quests first, obviously. And the monsters are a little tough here, not gonna lie. Um... Flying moth. So, that's why I'm a little unsure about us still trying this, but I got us. So, the, the one side quest we did was the warehouse thing. That was no problem. We had to find a warehouse key. No, warehouse key? No. We've had to find a key for that one guy, right? That's what we did. <laughs> Oh, thank goodness. Uh, these guys have a weak jaw, these moths, thankfully. But oh no, darkness. Okay, okay, fine. Nope. But then we started to do these quests here. We got two jobs to do. We gotta find a monster to fight. I forget what the monster was called, but there's a... There is some creature we have to deal with. Oh no, now Estelle is turned to stone as well? Hey, this is a nightmare. These were supposed to be the easy guys. I'm sorry. Oh god. Okay, good. I was about to say, we get petrified too. Whoa, holy moly. I need to reevaluate this whole situation. So let's see. I'm gonna pop a salubrious oatmeal. Just to get the both of us up there. Ugh. I'm not gonna give up yet. Come on. One more go. So three. Just got very unlucky with that petrified there, yeah? Uh. Well, this time. Oh, yeah. This time it's not gonna be so... Oh, right. Estelle lost. <clears throat> lost everything. Oh, this guy was poisoned. Yeah, I shouldn't have attacked that guy. Ah, mm. oh, well. Yeah, this time's gonna be different. We got some dual strike banked here. Hmm. So we gotta find a monster here at the roads, and we gotta find a gun prototype. <coughs> sorry. Why am I so choky today? I'm really sorry. That's bad, because I was planning on recording, like, a bunch today. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I guess I'll just move in and bank some... some movement points. I'm not even getting that many movement points. Yeah, whatever. And we haven't even found the monsters yet, or the gun, because there's some really tough enemies we gotta deal with here. Uh, these moths have a big glass jaw, so I'm not super concerned about these guys. But the, the big bird enemies do a ton of damage, even with our really good, like, armor on Estelle. They, like, clean shop, shall we say. I think we can take that guy. No, I'm, now I'm really making mistakes. Because <gasps> I meant to... I actually meant to attack the moth at the bottom. Oh. Stop it! Not even enough to kill. Not lethal. At least we got Hurricane, so... Try to get something with this. Come on! But, yeah, like I said, we're gonna give it a still go. I mean, if we're having this much trouble with just the mobs here... Um, I'm a little worried about how we're gonna do about a boss fight. I'm not gonna lie, so I'm definitely gonna have to make a safety save. Once we get up to those, uh... Those monsters, you know. There we go. Hard to hit, but once you do, these guys pop. 
But, you know, no sense not trying. And, like, if we don't fight these enemies, we're never gonna level up to be able to fight these enemies. And it's just gonna cascade. It's just gonna get tougher and tougher, so... I'm gonna give it a go. Although, maybe, you know, there are easier enemies northwards where the orphanage is, where the plot was pushing us. So maybe the game is trying to give us a hint that we shouldn't be doing these side quests yet. In this area, that's very rough. But hey, look at that. We're pretty close to leveling up. We beat up a few more and we'll go up one level. That seems to be a big game changer in this game. It's managing to pop a level. Okay. Attack these guys from the rear and let's see how this goes. Oh, they're getting moves off already. Oh, no. Which one's the one who's getting a crit? Oh, no. We, we get a crit because we're so fast. Okay. <laughs> no, don't do this. <laughs> we need to get one of these guys killed right now, so this better not miss a second time. Because they pop for like... 200, there we go. They pop like 200 damage per beak strike. So we really can't eat very many of these. Like so. Ugh. Come on, then, you. Gork! Oh, no! Demonic talons, no! Oh, okay, lucky, 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 lucky. Is this enough to kill, though? 104 health? Okay, yeah, we hit pretty hard. Ugh. Stressful. And you know what? We're not that close to leveling up. Now that I look at that, that's not very... very close at all. Hmm. Alright, Estelle needs 400 and Joshua needs like 200. Could just have a paella. Paella. I really should look up how that's pronounced. There we go. I'm hoping we can at least find the gun to take care of the gun side story, the prototype gun-like side quest, because that, if need be, we can just run around past all the enemies to try and find that. But hopefully I can take this boss fight as well. Um, it did say... Well, it's, it's, it's I was checking this before recording to see if I remembered correctly, and it's a little of two minds. It says Orion Road Monster, but it also says that it's near the Sapphire Tower. So I, I think it's worth it that we come over to the Sapphire Tower and have a quick look around. Ah. Well, there's the tower. Yeah, this monster's not on the map. That's usually a sign of a boss enemy. And it's also a weird-looking guy. What was the creature we were coming to fight called? Uh... <coughs> Helmet Crab. Now, monster designs in this game being what they are, who the heck knows if that's supposed to be a crab or not. Apparently it's a large monster that's prowling around, so... Oh no. Five of you. 530 health. They're weak against all elements. That's kind of interesting. So, if I did a lightning bolt... Oh, oh, right, I'm moving between the squares, right? I can hit those two guys. Get that lightning bolt going. Yeah, alright. Oh, okay, I was like, call for backup, come on now, but that's just a... that, okay. Okay, that's single target. That's also single, what? Earthlands is only single? Okay. But I had a big area effect. I don't. These are all. Hmm. Alright, well, we'll just try to do these and. Oh my god! What is this play now? Oh! I, I didn't count for them dodging out of the way. Nice! Nice, also nice. What the heck are these little... Yo, that's not cool, dude. You cannot steal our MP like that. I'm very cross now. <laughs> I 
All right, so can we cast... Oh, we can't do Flicker. Okay, um... Well, I'm gonna go for... Ooh, 89, but they might have high defense. If they're called Helmet Crab, they might have high defense, so I don't know. Let's do Dual Strike just in case. Uh. I see. I'm not sure what happened there, but it wasn't good. All right, well, now you guys are all nice and piled up, but god damn it, but Joshua's gonna get destroyed. Oh no. What do I do? Like, how do I. What if they go after Josh, all of them? I don't. And they suck MP, these baby boys. Ah, how did he hit so hard? Not now. Well, we got the aerial off, so that's nice, but I don't think it's gonna actually help us. Ooh! What are these mint palms? Mmm, minty. So, so, the, so regular attacks did nothing against these guys when I struck them with Josh's attack. Do you think our special combo is gonna do nothing? I don't know. I'm just gonna do this real quick. Come on. I'm gonna take out one of these things instead. Ow! What is that? The uh, State? I'm not sure. Ugh. Yeah, you better... Okay. <laughs> yeah, you better run. If you know what's good for you. <laughs> this amount of moves they're getting. <laughs> and they suck EP, which is so awful. Because I was kind of counting on doing another one of those uh, aerials to kill those guys. All right, Josh. We're good to go. Oh my God! So far behind on the initiative tracker. Yeah, that was a plus minus zero right there. Can we just end this? Oh man, this is gonna be our first game over. Or is it our second game over? I think we've had, like, one game over previously. I, I could swear we've seen the game over screen once. Or we can just do the lame thing. God damn, that was awful. So yeah, safety save is a little lame, but the other option is I just run back to town, heal myself there, run back here, so I end up costing, like... 80 gil or something. Let's just try this. So this is... This fight's doable, but it's like... Kind of luck dependent, honestly. This is very, very, very... It's very, like, narrow if we can pull this off, because... Because, like, we get to get lucky on some of these spells popping. Like, okay, so so I, I'm not sure if melee attacks do anything against them. Joshua's little attack there did nothing when we tried that. So we're gonna just try to do these... These spells. See if we can overwhelm them with spells before they overwhelm us. It's very... Very, 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 uh... Kind of knife's edge here. And kill one here when I do Earth Lance, gets that guy, and then we pop off the aerial on top, so that's one down. This is a real, like, mob management now. Wow. Nice. Man, the lack of area spells for Josh is terrible. I didn't realize. I need to check if we can get some kind of area spell for him, because otherwise, yeah, this is. Nuttastic. Uh, okay, 
Okay, it looks like no matter what spell I use, that's that's my order. So that guy moves closer and that guy moves closer. Right, okay, um... Let's try to kill this guy who's gonna get a big bo bonus here. Let's see if um, Stonehammer will kill this guy because he got 200 health. And no, I, I actually, no, I'm gonna play it safe. I'm gonna just play it safe and use this, yeah. Because we know this will kill. And if, I don't need this whatever this critical punch is coming our way, so... Yeah. Oh, I didn't think about that. Well, he used call for backup, so that, that's fine. And here comes the problem. That's a lot of MP we're about to lose when these palms come our way. I'm gonna move this like this, so if they move forward towards us, they'll still be in the area. If, if and you feel me. Oh my god, so many of them get to move off before Estelle. That's very obnoxious. <laughs> now let's soften this guy up with Petrify Breath. Why am I doing that, you might ask? Um, because he's gonna get hit by the aerial as well, so I'm hoping if we survive this turn, that Estelle's just gonna wipe away all of the Hermit Crabs. Hermit cra Helmet Crabs. Oh, is this a pun? Although that one guy may have just moved. Nope, he's still in the area, nice. So, come on, come on, come on, big whammy, big whammy, big whammy. Nice, I think that's all of them. All right. So that's not lame. I'd say that was learning. It was learning from our failure, right? That's how I would classify that. So I would say that was completely fine. That That's how this shindig went down. Um, it's... I mean, if you die to a boss in, like, Dark Souls and you learn from that experience to... Oh my god. Ow. Not now. You absolute dingus ball. Ugh. We're good to go. <laughs> yeah, but if, you, if, if that's considered part of the game, then I don't see any problem here as well from learning from our losses. You absolute meatball! Not now. We're good to go. Or three meatballs, I guess. Well, minty meatballs. Mm, mint ball. Mm. There. Yeah, you better run. Oh my god. That 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 was. Well, maybe that's the cost of doing business. As we losing that extra one there. Ugh. Nice spoils though. Okay. Yeah, it was. Oh, found zero type test model. What? Are you, could that be the gun? It doesn't say it's updated here, but like it says an orbital gun prototype, and that was a test model we just got. Uh, here's all my items. Oh my god! I don't actually see it. Am I crazy? I don't see, unless it's the zero shot. X? I don't know. Is this... But it's Type 0 test model, though, so... Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna make... a post-fight safety save. For having bested the creatures. Yeah, okay, whew. I'm happy that we pulled that off. It was, yeah... The first failed go was because I didn't know what I was getting into, so... I had the right idea to begin with the spells, but that was just because I knew it was a tough fight, so... Using spells was worth the investment. Uh, plus, there was a large group of them, so using my big area spells felt all well, nice and stuff. Um, and I wanted to exploit their weaknesses again, obviously. My mistake was, well, using lightning and forgetting that they could move out of the way. That was, that was an amateur mistake that I need to try and remember in the future to avoid. And also, when I went for that finish that guy off with the melee attack with Josh, because I, I kind of had the right idea. I was like, well, they're helmet crab, so I wouldn't be surprised if these guys have really good defense. Well, I didn't expect it to be like that, where 
perfect, perfect defense against melee, against physical attacks that then just bounce back on us. Like that uh, was a little bit of a, a little bit of a twist of Rooney. That one, I would say. So that kind of ruined everything. Not to mention the ballooning amount of enemies, but that was just part of the part of the action there. Oh man, we got overwhelmed that first time. Uh, second go, yeah, just Im immediately just like blitz them with those aerials. Was the uh, was the trick to that one, and it worked out okay. We we won, so hey, bit of a bit of a proof of raw there at the end with uh, Joshua. That guy pulling off that spell, that final mint pawn. Ugh. What's our monster book say about uh, these guys? What, where are they? Helmet crab. There you are. An atypical crustacean monster surrounded by a force field. Oh, that's how they were able to tank all my shots. Can call palms for backup. Mwah. A dastardly green fluff. Not only can, steal it, can it steal EP, it can use arts as well. Ugh. Well, let's report in the Orion Road monster, and we pull in a little bit of cash. Still fifth class, but we just jumped there recently, so... So, so, so... I'm not surprised we're not grading up yet. Plus, if we consider the world map, we've got Zeiss and Granzel to take care of, so... You know, I'm gonna assume we're gonna hit fourth here and get to, like, second in Zeiss, and then maybe in Granzel we'll get up to one. Or maybe hit fourth as we enter Zeiss. Oops, not this way. As we enter Zeiss, and in Zeiss we get up to, like, level three, you know. And then two and one in Granzel. Something like that. Anyway, then... Oh, not the Orbal Factory. I think it's the... I'm new to town. <laughs> it's this guy. Let's go see if... Uh, this gun is what he wants. If you find any orbal-bowered guns around the Orion Causeway, bring them back to me. I've lost a prototype, and you might run across it there. Is this the prototype gun? Hand it the zero-type test model. Whoa! Wow! How did you get your hands on this? A monster near the Sapphire Tower had it. It probably wanted it for the septium mechanism. My dear's name! Thank you so much! Ugh, oh, thank goodness you found it! And now we've fulfilled your request. Pardon us, but we must be going. Why are you in such a hurry? Please, at least take this with you. Received an attack two quarts. Just a token of my appreciation. I wish you luck on your future endeavors. Thanks! Nice! Attack 2 is sturdy. Let's have a quick look at that. And who do we give that to is the next question. Oh, it's sealed. Right, it's... It's value 3 fire. Not bad. That would get Estelle's strength kind of on par with... Uh, well, not on par. Look at Joshua's strength. It's, it's, it's wackadoodle, but... Get a little bit closer there. Uh, let's go turn in this first, and then we'll think about that. I'm gonna have to think about that for a second. I think this is worth it to ponder. All right, got not enough money to buy a new gun. Not gun, a weapon. I guess we could buy a gun, but... Uh, but we can't buy anything yet. I think they cost way too much here at the arm shop. Oh, I forgot to check if there's new quests. I mean, I doubt it, but we should just in case. Yeah, it's 5,000 to get new stuff. We got the Basilard for Joshua. That's why his strength is so nutso. Kind of want to get the Shield Vest for him next, then the Hexstave for, for Estelle. Uh, but yeah, let's review some of these magic options. We've got three fire to play with. Ooh, so with Estelle, I th yeah, because Estelle's already rocking the lightning, you see that? With Estelle, we could get Firebolt EX already for her. That 
it's an option. And we could get something called Forte, which is strength plus 25%. Ooh. Or, or, well, we could eventually, I think, with the right equipment. If we look at the Orbiman value. Oh, but they're on this side. Oh, but I just swap them on this side and then we can get the, the effects I want. That's not a big deal. If, if, if I got that final slot open. I'm just thinking of the final slot for Estelle there. Now for Joshua, it's Earth and Time. So... Fire does not really go with any of those, except Saint is that crazy one over there. Hmm. What was the... What was Estelle's the middle one that Estelle has equipped? Oh yeah, we could get Forte because it's got that uh, it's got all those values there. You see, it's got the 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 white the 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 uh, non-elemental value. Very good. So could we freaking unlock? Because that final slot costs a lot, but boy, that would be a game changer if we could get some fire spells going. Ooh, wait a second. Look at all those values, and it's only eighty. That's so good. Look at that. Nice, 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 nice! So yeah, I think this is the right play right now for our situation. Oh, we, you know, we could have also, I think... Oh, then... Yep. NPC talk. I could have opened up Josh's slot, right? Before I spent that cash, it would have been 120. We could have gotten that, but I'm... I, I could see because we got this new new fire thing. I, I want to give it to Estelle, so. There we go. We swap that there. Got Firebolt and Flare Arrow. But we're also going to get Firebolt EX now. Because I'm just going to do that. And do that. Holy moly. This is working out so good. I'm a little scared by how good this is going. HP 2... And... Mind 1, I think? Tier, Tiara, and Lot here. Got the stuff I need. Very good. Man, that eagle eye being the center is brilliant. It, it's doing a lot of work here. And here we put Impede 2, and we already got the Firebolt there. Nice, but then we swap in also... Uh, ooh! Shield or evade? I like evade. I don't know. Well, evade maybe? Let's just put that there. Uh, did, did we get something from that? Hold on. Yes, we got aerial and lightning. I was like, don't we get something if I put that there? Yeah. Oh my god, look at that selection of spells. Nice. Now, wait a second, shouldn't I have... Hold on. It's three, four, three, and two. What's what's wrong here now? Shouldn't I get the, the one... Shouldn't I get Crest? Oh, no, I need four fire. So, no, that's not going to work out then. Never mind. I'd need, like, a really huge fire gem. Are there any huge... Well, there is attack three, so one day if I swap that for Estelle... We'll be able to get Forte, but yeah, we can't get Forte yet. That's fine. That's that's okay. Oh, interesting. There is a spell. Look at that. Volcanic Rave. That uses Earth. So one day we might consider that for uh, Joshua, but that day isn't now. Yeah, I'm looking at some of these values here that we could be working towards. There's, there's some options here. Diamond Dust is interesting. But it's all good. Ooh, I'm gonna go rest at the hotel again, because we lost a few points there. I, sorry, I thought that was worth, like, the mental gymnastics even on screen, because I thought I th find it interesting, and I love when we get good... The playing with these values is super fun, to get these, like, big value synergy effects. So I dig it.